I got a really exciting package in the mail today, and this contains, among other things, my very first Hobonichi Weeks. It is the design that I wanted, my first choice. I signed up for the email notifications that JetPens has set up, and as soon as they got it, I jumped. <laughs> I wasn't even home at the time. I ordered it on my phone. I'm so excited about that item in particular that I think once I get this package open, I think I might actually crack open that new planner and decorate a little bit. I'm so excited. The moment of truth. My Hobonichi Weeks April Star, the spring edition. It is so pretty. I love this fabric. I was really hoping that I could get the floral fabric because I think it is gorgeous. So I have watched so many videos on YouTube and looked up so many different Instagram accounts to try and find ideas for how I want to use this layout. I think that I am mostly going to use this for a work planner. I'm so excited for this. All right, let's get it opened up. We can take a look. This is one of the Liberty Fabrics ones. This is a little packet that came with it. Probably gonna cut this up and use it in my journal at some point. And here it is. The fabric cover feels really nice. I decided not to put a clear cover or get a Chic Sparrow cover for this, at least to start. I'm feeling pretty okay about it. This is a little bit difficult to see unless you catch it in the right light, but it does say 2022 on the cover in kind of a gold foil there. There's nothing extra on the back. The spine also has the year on it, but it is very hard to see in this particular design. Okay, there you go. Hobonichi Checho 2022 Weeks Spring Start. I like the idea of a spring start. It just happened to work out that this was when my other planner was running out of pages, but I'm gonna have to decide what I wanna do. It's like a year at a glance. Some people use this for tracking habits and things like that. Or I could just write out things that are coming up. Monthly pages. And then some weekly pages. Okay, that has two bookmarks. Probably put one on the monthly and one on the weekly. When you get to the end, of the weekly layouts, there's like a little index here for the note pages, which are numbered. I didn't realize that, that's awesome. So if I wanted to do like some bullet journal things back here, I could. Lists, things like that. They've got some exercises. For my 100, I think I want to keep track of every piece of fan fiction that I read and list them out because I definitely, I feel like I definitely read a hundred fanfics last year and I didn't keep track of them. So this will be pretty great. And then there's some other things that I am not gonna be able to read. And then in the back, there is a sticker pocket that you can attach to the inside of the cover, which I'm gonna hold off on for now because I don't really know what I would put there. But here is a little bit of a preview of the other items that I got in this jet pens order. If you would like to see me open up the rest of it, I am going to save that for the end of the video. And I've set up chapters, so if you want to skip around, feel free to do that. And I am going to go ahead and get started decorating my Hobonichi Weeks. So a good amount of this process involved looking through all of my stickers and trying to decide what I wanted to use and where. I did cut a lot of this out of the video just so you wouldn't have to sit through it, but know that even though I am trying to get past my fear of using stickers or putting them in the wrong place or not liking what I end up with, it did come back for me while I started working on this planner. Something about a brand new, beautiful planner that I didn't want to mess up just made me get a little bit nervous again about using stickers. So we're working on that, folks. And as you can see, I eventually did decide that, yes, this is where I will be putting the sunflower sticker. It took a while to get there, folks, but we have made it. I am happy with where it ended up, and it's such a bright and sunshiny sticker, so I am happy that when I first open my planner, that is what I will see 
super cute. And then I kind of got over that anxiety a little bit and stuck down these safety pins and there's this little gold clip. Most of the clear stickers that I have came from various shops on AliExpress and they are, some of them are opaque and some of them are transparent so you can kind of see through them. So it depends on which one. <laughs> I kind of got a wide variety of them. So I've got things to choose from, but I thought this little clip was so cute and it's kind of the perfect size to go right over the Hobonichi name right there. So cute. And then some safety pins as well. I ended up really liking the way that this cover page turned out. I thought it was super cute. I was pretty nervous to put stickers on it, but we got there and everything turned out okay. This planner came in the mail during the end of March, so I ended up deciding to decorate the March pages anyway. Um, even though I wasn't going to be using it for that month for very long, I thought it might be good practice for me, so I jumped pretty much immediately into using these Sterling Ink stamp stickers. They're navy blue, they have beautiful florals on them, and it's funny, I put one down and then ended up going through all the rest of my Sterling Ink stickers just to see if I could coordinate that with something else, but I ended up just using the same sheet again. <laughs> I have actually been using this planner for a few weeks since I filmed this and it does lay flat now, but when I first got it, it did not want to stay open. So I used these clips to kind of hold it open for me so that I could work on the pages and not make a big mess. And so one thing that I knew I really wanted to do with this planner is to use more of my clear stamps to kind of customize it and make it my own. So the first thing that I did was I opened up this prompts stamp sheet from Everyday Explorers Co. And I found a monthly report stamp. So I thought if I put this down at the bottom every month, I can kind of list out some of the best things that happened to me during the month or my biggest accomplishments or just things that I want to look back on that I'm proud of. And so I went ahead and did that using Versa Magic ink in the color Ocean Depth. It's this nice desaturated dark blue. I was also very excited to discover that this track all the things set actually has a tiny little play button icon, which is perfect for marking my YouTube video uploads now that I'm doing those regularly again. So I went ahead and added that to all of the Wednesdays, all of the Sundays, and a random Thursday when I happened to post something on my main channel. And now it is fountain pen time. So I am taking my Banu Talisman in the color Peacock Ore, and I am using the ink Chocolate Pudding. It's a Robert Oster ink that I actually just tested out on my channel earlier this week. So if you'd like to see that, definitely check out that video after this one. And I just kind of went through and wrote down all of the important things that are happening in the month. Personally, I tend to not really keep up with monthly spreads while the months are happening. I tend to prefer to stay in the weekly. And so when a month starts, I will go through and fill out the calendar as best as I can on the monthly pages. And then I find that I tend to ignore it from that point on. It's really just an exercise for me to look at the month at a glance like this. And so I hope that maybe by the time I've gotten through using this planner, maybe I'll have a better plan for this. And maybe having some of those reflection areas down at the bottom will help me to kind of make this page a little more important for me, make it something that I want to use more often. This is the point in the process where I realized I needed a blotting sheet for this planner. So one thing about using Tomoe River paper and fountain pens is that it takes a long time to dry. And so if I wanted to say flip to April and start working on that month next, I would need to put some sort of sheet of paper between the March pages to make sure that it doesn't get itself all messy. And so I bought some of this blotting paper from the NAMI paper when I bought my Nanami Cafe notes and I just cut it down. I have, I have it in the B6 slim size and then in A6 size and then so depending on which notebook I need it for, I'll make a new sheet out of one of those. But then, before I had a chance to flip to April, I got another idea, which was to have a little spot for goals or intentions. I already had my monthly report, so it made sense, I thought, to 
think ahead about things that I want to focus on for the month. And so I have an area where I can write that now. I found this intention stamp in this set of magic themed stamps that came out around Halloween last year. It's also from Everyday Explorers Co. I really like their designs. Uh, but this worked out perfectly, so I stamped it there and I wrote down a few of my goals and things I wanted to focus on for the month. The right side of the bottom of the monthly has these little check boxes on it, so I thought that it made sense to put it there. I can check them off if I thought that I did a good job with these goals at the end of the month, I guess. <laughs> So now that I had pretty much finished this monthly page, I just added some finishing touches now that I can like see it as a whole and see what's missing. I added this little pencil icon on one of my writing deadlines and I added another sticker that's just like a bunch of fancy old fashioned looking nibs. I didn't want to put stickers on any of the days that I might want to still fill in, but it's possible that I could go back to this page and add more stickers later once I know that I don't need space on those days. I kept wanting to put things in the bottom left corner, but those days hadn't happened yet, so I needed them to stay empty in case I wanted to write something there. And that is how my March 2022 monthly spread turned out in my very first Hobonichi Weeks. And now we can flip over to April. So for this one, I wanted to go a little bit brighter since the weather is hopefully going to warm up soon. And uh, I picked these little banner stickers from Sterling Ink. Their stickers are so pretty and I keep wanting to buy more of them, but I told myself I needed to use the ones that I bought from them first. And so I added a bunch of these. I do like the way that they coordinate so I don't have to think too much about what to match with them, but I did end up going and finding some more stickers to add once these banners were down. Probably my favorite type of stickers, if you can't tell already from watching my videos, are these clear floral stickers. I love the more realistic looking ones. It's just so fun. It's like almost like I pressed some flowers on the page, but they're really quick and easy and don't make a big mess, and yeah, they're really fun. Most of them are on the larger side though, and so I did have this one set that had these little ones, and so I thought this would be perfect. I'll pick a bunch of small flowers and arrange them across, and as usual, it took me a really long time to figure out exactly which I wanted to use and where I wanted to put them, because I wanted to be extra careful about it. There is something very satisfying about stamping all these little play buttons where all of my YouTube uploads are going to go. I had not really had experience with this regular of a schedule on YouTube, but we're seeing how it goes. Are you folks enjoying having regular videos for me or are you finding that you're having trouble keeping up? Do you watch them as they come out or do you wait until I post a bunch and then catch up on them when you hit the weekend or you have some free time? Love to know about it in the comments. Let me know. I found that it really did help to kind of have a plan from the first month so I pretty quickly moved right into adding my intention and my monthly report stamps and then I grabbed another fountain pen so that I could write in all of my appointments and different things on my schedule that I have going on in April. This is a Caveco All Sport. It's my favorite. It's in the gold. And I'm using the Diamine Blue Velvet ink, which is, I think, one of their 150th anniversary inks. I did film a video about this particular pen and ink combination that I haven't posted yet, so make sure you're subscribed so that you can see the videos that I post in the future. And I actually did not fill them in on the calendar for this particular month because I'm still deciding the order of the videos that I want to release in April, but I will fill them out at some point. 
Here I am using my Zig Clean Color Dot Marker to mark off days that I'm going to be traveling in April. I haven't found like a regular use for this pen, which is kind of a bummer because it's so cool. I love that the harder you press, the bigger the dot gets, so you can kind of vary the size of it. And I just, I figured this might be a good use for it, but I don't travel super often these days, so. Also, did you catch that? I made a mistake, so I'm going to cover it with a sticker. <laughs> <laughs> the sticker is a little bit sheer, so you can still kind of see it, but that's fine. It's okay. It's not a big deal. And April came together a lot quicker. I really liked that I kind of went into it with a bit of a plan. I wasn't as nervous. I also didn't have as many things to write because the month hadn't started yet when I was working on this. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. We've got two months filled out. I have been using it since and I've been enjoying it quite a lot. I probably won't share the weekly pages here on this channel just because it's for my work and it's private, but I may decorate monthly pages in here in the future on my channel if this is something that you like to see. So please let me know in the comments below if you want me to post more videos about what goes in my Hobonichi Weeks. The other thing I would love to know is whether you use a Hobonichi Weeks planner and if you do, how do you set it up? What are some things that you wish you knew when you first started it that have really helped you out with your planning? I'd love to hear more about it. I am pretty new to this. I have been paying attention to the system for a long time, but never actually owned a Hobonichi Weeks until now, so I'm very excited about it. And now, as promised, I'm going to take you through the rest of the order that I placed at Jet Pens. I got some unrelated things along with my Hobonichi Weeks because I couldn't resist and I already kind of had a cart accumulating when they announced that they had their Hobonichis in stock, so... JetPens always wraps their things in ways that make sure everything is really well protected. Sometimes I struggle to get it open, so. All right, here it is. So the first item in here are some new Versa Magic ink pads. This is my favorite ink to use with Tomoe River paper, so I can definitely use this ink with some of my clear stamps in the Hobonichi. I use this one a lot and I have one that's getting kind of dry, so that'll be helpful. And then I got a green, which I hadn't tried before. This color is called Hint of Pesto. If you are interested in seeing how I stamp using these inks, I made a tutorial a little while ago kind of showing people who are unfamiliar with clear stamps how they work. The next thing in here is a set of three dot pattern tape runners. These are actually just the refills. I have this already, so that way I pop this open and refill them when I run out of this one. It's always a sad day when my tape runner runs out and I don't have a refill ready to go, so I thought by ordering three of them, I would end up with plenty of backups. I have tried a bunch of tape runners to varying degrees of success, and I've learned that the dot pattern ones are kind of my favorite. I had the regular Tombow one and it was fine. It did what it was supposed to do, but I find that I have more control when there are dot shapes on the tape runners, so. Okay, so this actually is also a Hobonichi, but it is one of the plain notebooks. I found out that they make notebooks that aren't planners. And since I love the Tomoe River paper so much and their designs are usually really fun, I thought I would get an A6 size that I can use as kind of a backup for my Nanami Cafe note, because I don't know when those will come back in stock, <laughs> sadly. All right, so it is just a, looks like a pink grid. Oh, okay, so the grid changes colors. As you go through the notebook, there are kind of three sections in here. Three, four, there are a few sections with different colored grids. So that's kind of cool. It's not as thick as the Nanami Cafe note, it is a thinner notebook, but I know because it's Tomoe River paper that there are a lot of pages in here. 
And uh, yeah, so I've got a, a backup for my A6 now, which is good news. Next thing I got are some of these Midori index clips. I already have another set of these and I use them a lot. So I thought, let's get some more, especially now with the Hobonichi Weeks. I would love to have some more tabs ready to go. They're really small, really lightweight, very tiny. They don't stick out very far from the edge of the pages and they make it very easy to find the page that you're looking for. Next up, I've got a MD notebook. This is the plain paper. I have one that's a grid paper and it's kind of here. I'll show you. It's kind of swimming in the insert that I put it in. So this is a B6 Slim Cheek Sparrow and I have the MD paper grid on the side. My thought was I'll get a plain one that's just blank paper and I'll use it as like a sketchbook and a notepad for my product making ideas and then I can put it on this side. Let's try it right now actually. That is exactly what I was hoping would happen. That by thickening up the notebook, by doubling it, two different kinds of paper, two different purposes, I can have it be a better fit for this cover. Oh, I put them in upside down. <laughs> okay, well, I'll fix that later. <laughs> All right, folks, so that's it for my first ever Hobonichi Weeks video and my little jet pens haul. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you're having a really good day, and I will see you next time.